Why do particles have mass? The answer lies in the Higgs boson. After the Big Bang, as the universe expanded and cooled, an invisible energy field, the Higgs field, spread across space. Particles moving through this field interact with it, and this interaction slows them down, giving them mass. Without the Higgs field, particles would remain massless and unable to form atoms, molecules, or the structures we see in the universe today. The Higgs boson is the particle that confirms this field exists, discovered in 2012 after decades of searching using the Large Hadron Collider. Its discovery completed the standard model of particle physics, explaining how the universe gained its structure and stability. Picture the entire universe right after the Big Bang. Back then, it was extremely hot and dense, and as it expanded and cooled, an invisible energy field, called the Higgs field, settled into a stable state throughout space. Unlike ordinary fields you might imagine, like a magnetic field around a magnet, the Higgs field is uniform and fills every nook and cranny of the cosmos. Any particle moving through this field interacts with it, and the nature of this interaction gives that particle its mass. If a particle barely feels the Higgs field, it remains light, and if it strongly interacts, it becomes heavy. Without this field, no particle would have a rest mass, and the universe would be a vastly different place. Electrons, key building blocks of atoms, interact moderately with the Higgs field, giving them a small but important mass. This mass allows electrons to stay bound to the positively charged nucleus of an atom, forming stable structures like the atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon that make up the world around us. Think of trying to run through a field of tall grass. The grass doesn't stop you completely, but it slows you down compared to running on smooth pavement. The Higgs field is like that tall grass. Particles move through it and feel a kind of resistance. The more resistance they feel, the more mass they have. The Higgs boson is often called the God particle, but this nickname can be misleading. The term came from a popular science book where the author used it partly in jest, originally calling it the goddamn particle because it was so hard to find. A publisher changed it to God particle to be less offensive, and the name stuck. In reality, there's nothing divine about it. Physicists prefer to emphasize that the Higgs boson is simply a crucial part of the standard model of particle physics, a model that's purely scientific and testable. The nickname gained popularity because it hints at how fundamentally important the Higgs boson is to our understanding of why matter has mass. Example, just like calling a particularly stubborn math problem the monster problem doesn't mean it's literally a monster. Calling the Higgs boson the God particle doesn't mean it has religious significance. It's just a dramatic nickname. Analogy, if you had a missing key that unlocked your house, one that you searched for in every drawer and under every couch cushion, you might jokingly call it the miracle key when you finally find it. But the key isn't supernatural, it's just important for getting into your home. The God particle nickname is similar in spirit. Physicists use the standard model to describe all known fundamental particles, like quarks, electrons, and neutrinos, and the forces they interact with, except gravity. For decades, the standard model explained almost everything we could see in particle experiments, but it had a glaring gap. It didn't fully explain why particles have mass, the equations hinted that without something extra, all particles would remain massless. The concept of the Higgs field and its associated boson filled this gap beautifully. Predicting the existence of the Higgs boson allowed the standard model to explain how particles slow down from light speed dance partners to more well-behaved entities with mass. Imagine having a recipe for a cake that lists all ingredients except the one that makes it rise. The standard model had all the ingredients for matter and forces, but not the one that raised particles from massless to massive states. The Higgs mechanism provided that missing baking powder. Think of building a car engine and discovering that, according to your blueprint, the engine should never start. 
The Higgs field is like the spark plug that makes the engine run. Without it, the whole machine, the universe of particles, wouldn't function as we observe. In the early universe, when temperatures were unimaginably high, the Higgs field didn't yet exert its mass-giving influence. As the universe cooled, the Higgs field settled into a state where it had a non-zero value everywhere. Particles traveling through space now found themselves interacting with this field, like swimmers moving through a thick fluid. A stronger interaction means the particle finds it harder to zip along at high speeds, and this difficulty translates into what we measure as mass. Essentially, mass isn't just an intrinsic property. It's the result of how particles and the Higgs field talk to each other. Example, W and Z bosons, which mediate the weak nuclear force involved in radioactive decay, owe their hefty masses to a strong coupling with the Higgs field. Without the Higgs, these bosons would be massless like photons, particles of light, and the weak force would behave very differently, fundamentally altering the nature of matter and nuclear reactions. Analogy, think of mass like a traffic jam effect. If you drive your car on a completely empty highway, you can move very fast. But if the highway is filled with slow moving traffic, the Higgs field, your car effectively behaves as though it's heavier and slower. Particles in traffic with the Higgs field end up slower and thus have mass. Producing a Higgs boson requires smashing particles together with enormous energy because the Higgs is relatively heavy compared to many other fundamental particles. Even when created, the Higgs boson exists for just a tiny fraction of a second before decaying into lighter particles. Detecting it is like spotting a short-lived ripple in a stormy sea of other particle events. To achieve this, scientists built the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a 27-kilometer ring under the border of France and Switzerland that accelerates protons to near light speed and collides them head-on. Specialized detectors then record the debris of these collisions, and advanced computer algorithms sift through mountains of data to find patterns that reveal the Higgs boson's presence. The probability of producing a Higgs boson in a single proton-proton collision at the LHC is incredibly small. It's like playing a slot machine millions of times just to hit a particular combination of symbols once. Yet, by running the collider for months and years, scientists accumulate enough collisions to see the Higgs's faint signal emerge statistically. Analogy. Imagine trying to catch a rare butterfly in a huge rainforest. You know it exists because you've found tracks, theory, and droppings, indirect evidence, but to actually see and catch the LHC is like that grand butterfly catching experiment for the Higgs boson. In July 2012, after billions of collisions and meticulous analysis, scientists at the ATLAS and CMS experiments at the LHC announced the discovery of a new particle that matched the predicted properties of the Higgs boson. They measured its mass around 1 in 25 GVs, about 133 times heavier than a proton, and observed how it decayed into other particles. These measured properties lined up almost perfectly with theoretical predictions. This discovery confirmed the long-sought mechanism that explains how particles acquire mass and validated an essential piece of our understanding of the subatomic world. Finding the Higgs boson was like confirming the existence of a rare chemical element that chemists predicted decades before. Once it was found, scientists could breathe a sigh of relief, knowing their underlying theories and equations were on the right track. Imagine reading a detective novel where the detective predicts who the culprit is before the crime happens. Then, after a long and complicated investigation, the detective's hunch is proven correct. The discovery of the Higgs boson was just like that aha moment, showing that the theoretical detective work done decades earlier by physicists was correct. The Higgs boson's existence ensures that matter clumps together rather than flying apart at light speed. This clumping allowed stars and galaxies to form. In these stars, nuclear reactions create heavier elements, and these elements later become part of planets and eventually part of life. Without the Higgs mechanism, 
the universe would be a bland soup of massless particles zipping around, never combining to form anything stable or complex. Understanding the Higgs boson helps us appreciate how delicate and finely tuned our universe is, and how fundamental science underpins the very existence of structures and life. Example, if electrons had no mass, they wouldn't form stable orbits around nuclei. Without stable atoms, there'd be no stable chemistry, no water, no proteins, no life as we know it. The Higgs boson indirectly supports the existence of every atom in your body. Analogy, think of trying to build a sandcastle on a beach. Without stickiness in the sand, like mass that allows particles to come together, the sand would never stay put and no castle would ever form. The Higgs provides the stickiness that lets particles bond, forming the grand castle of our cosmic architecture. Many scientists cringe at the nickname because it can cause confusion. The Higgs boson isn't about faith, theology, or the origin of the universe in a religious sense. It's about a well-tested physical mechanism that explains a key property of matter. By calling it the God particle, some worry that the public might mix science with spiritual concepts or assume the Higgs is more than a scientific discovery. The true wonder is that humans developed theories and experiments to uncover a subtle part of nature's blueprint. No divine implication needed. Some media outlets, when reporting on the discovery, focused on the God particle name rather than the scientific importance. This frustrated physicists who wanted the world to appreciate the Higgs boson as a triumph of human knowledge and technology, not a symbol of religious thought. If you referred to your phone's battery as the lifeblood of your device, people might start thinking it has biological importance rather than just being a key component. The God particle nickname does something similar. It adds a layer of confusion rather than helping us understand what the Higgs really is. While the Higgs discovery completed the standard model, many mysteries remain. Why is the Higgs boson's mass just right for our universe? Are there other fields and particles related to the Higgs that we haven't found yet? How does the Higgs field interact, or not interact, with dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe? Physicists are now using the LHC and planning even more powerful colliders to measure the Higgs boson's properties more precisely. Any tiny deviation from expectations could lead us to new physics beyond the standard model and help us solve cosmic puzzles like the nature of dark matter or the reason behind the universe's accelerating expansion. Example. If we find that the Higgs boson decays into unexpected particles or behaves slightly differently than predicted, it might point to the existence of undiscovered phenomena such as supersymmetry or extra dimensions. Analogy. Imagine finishing a big puzzle only to discover that the picture on the box is part of a larger mural. Finding the Higgs boson solved one part of the picture, but now we see the edges don't match the frame. There's more to the cosmic mural than we realized, and the Higgs boson discovery is our invitation to keep exploring and uncovering more secrets of the universe.